Hey guys, I'm Chani and you're watching The Art of Science. Did you know that all rotating bodies, including the planets revolving around the sun, the moon revolving around the earth, these spinning trays, orbiting balls, experience a pair of forces called centrifugal and centripetal forces. Take a look at this container. The water wants to fall out due to gravity. It wants to fly off from this rotating system. And this force that acts on the bodies to throw them out of this rotational motion, which acts away from the center, is known as the centrifugal force. But on the other hand, the hand and the string that is attached to the container don't let the container to fly away. They pull the water back inside towards themselves. This is the center seeking force, which opposes the centrifugal force. And this is called the centripetal force. This is a clip from a live science theater called the Fab Lab Show. In this show, the host tries to spin these trays with cups of water on it. While our robot co-host Chip tries to explain the science behind why the cups don't fall out of the tray. Make sure you check out the trailer of the Fab Lab show. I've linked it up here and in the description box as well. Similarly, the moon and the planets experience a centrifugal force which makes them want to fly away from their revolutionary orbits. But the gravitational pull between the sun and the planets and the earth and the moon acts as the invisible string exerting centripetal force to keep them in place. One of the ways to actually show these forces is to perform this orbiting balls experiment. We know that the larger ball is heavier, but when we rotate the smaller ball, the tension in the string connecting the two balls increases due to the centripetal or the center seeking force. The faster we rotate it, higher is the tension in the string. I have linked the video up here and in the description box as well. Before we see how we can apply the knowledge of these forces, why don't you subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. One of the applications of these forces is to make a straw pump. The water enters the straw from the bowl. Here, because of the triangular shape of the straw, there is a very minimal centripetal force since there is nothing pulling the water towards the center. So the centrifugal force takes over, resulting in the water to be thrown out from the top of the straw. Using the same principle, you can make this DIY centrifuge. It is a device that spins at really high speeds which causes the heavier sediments to be pushed onto the edges due to the centrifugal forces and start accumulating there. The lighter particles accumulate in the center. The links to both the DIYs are up here and in the description box as well. If you have any questions or if you try these DIYs, let us know in the comments below and we'll see you next week.